Welcome, you're watching Head to Head. I'm Antonina Antosha with UA TV. Just a few days ago, the 47th Modis International Film Festival in Kyiv has come to a close. 200 full lengths and short films produced by Ukraine, Germany, France, Estonia, and Poland were showcased there. The featured movies competed for awards in a variety of categories. The festival also included special programs, children's films, and works representing the LGBT community. To talk more about the event, we're joined in the studio today by Bogdan Zhuk. He is a program program coordinator at the Molotis Film Festival. Hello and thank you for joining us. Hello and thank you for having me. So uh, tell me all about your impressions from the festival that has just come to a close. Um, Was it a success overall? How would you evaluate it? A lot of impressions. Mm. It's been an, it's a long festival. It's a big festival. It's mm -hmm. eight days of films all day and sometimes even night long. All day, every day. <laughs> yes. Uh, from morning till night and sometimes for a full night like we had nights of short films mm -hmm. uh, for instance uh, i'd say it's been a success but it's been also difficult because it's a transition year and it's um well we had our festival always was held in uh, october mm -hmm. well this was traditionally an autumn festival mm -hmm. and now we changed the dates uh, so it happened from 27th may till 3rd of june now Why? it's going to be held like this for I don't know, forever, um, oh. all the time. Uh, so it's just the first time we have it like this in summer, different mm -hmm. environment. We had opportunities. But why did you switch the dates? For some reasons. Uh, did quite you think a few. that uh, doing the festival in summer would attract more people? Um, potentially, yes. Mm -hmm. um, but. Uh, you know, it's um, kind of a double-edged sword, so uh, sometimes on the one hand we have an opportunity to have open-air mm. screenings and we had that uh, on the Poshtova Square mm -hmm. in the Kyiv city centre, which was a big cinema um, for 600 people, 600 seats, huge screen and we showed three films every day there, wow. plus we had uh, our opening and award ceremonies there. And also we had uh, the UBK, the club on the Truhaniv Island, mm -hmm. so it's on the beach and mm -hmm. it's another um, amazing uh, place to show films. We had okay. screenings there at Midnight Cinema Club, we called it that. Uh, so it did attract a lot of audience for the open air uh, screenings. I'm guessing mainly young audience. Yeah, that's okay. our focus audience uh, all the time and mm -hmm. yes young audience was our mm, big part of uh, the viewers who came. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, it's summer, so it's statistically less people go to cinemas to watch films than in October or in autumn or winter. Well, yeah, so it's a challenge, uh, But if least. it's an open-air cinema, why not? I mean, even in summer. Yeah, open-air was uh, a fantastic place to show films. Mm -hmm. um, but of course it's the first time, so uh, we had some... Of course, there's no way it would go flawlessly and smoothly. Obviously, but that's okay. I mean, you've tried and you and you've succeeded, so that's good. Yeah. Speaking about um, awards, mm -hmm. the uh, film called The Saint of a Lithuanian director that got the Grand Prix and the cash prize of $10,000. Have you seen that? Have I seen that? Yes. yes. Uh, what did I you was think one of the it? people who programmed this film mm -hmm. because I'm a programmer who selects films for all the or most of the mm -hmm. programs we mm -hmm. have. So, yeah, it's a, an interesting, it's sort of a small film because it's a low budget film. Uh, it's a Lithuanian Polish production, co production by Lithuanian director Andrzej Blazavicius. Yeah. And, um, it's small and it's big at the same time because it's, it shows uh, a personal crisis, uh, a personal um, way for a person to grow up um, in some way, but it's also talking about a social crisis. It's set against the backdrop of the 2008-2009 mm -hmm. global financial crisis and people losing jobs and uh, emigrating from Lithuania to other countries that have more opportunities so it's um it has a few levels and it's really interesting that um this film could be easily made in ukraine and um, it's very close to our audience i think and that mm -hmm. was part of the 
Um, part of the one of the reasons uh, for Why the jury it? to choose. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely for us to select it, but also for the jury to choose it as the winner of the Grand Prix. Speaking of the selection process, I've read, while preparing for the interview, I've read in one of the media sources that it was extremely challenging to uh, pick out, you know, the 20 finalist films because the... Uh, there, there was a large number of movies that wanted to compete. Now, is that true? And um, if it, is it really so that a lot of people want to get into the festival and is the number bigger from the previous year? Well, just to say you've, you've switched the dates, is the number bigger from the previous festival you've held? Um, the number of submissions, uh, yes, I would say so, because um, we changed the dates, so we didn't have a festival in October traditionally, mm. so we had essentially 18 months or even more to prepare mm -hmm. this festival, the full festival, because we only had a prologue in October for two days. And uh, yeah, we definitely had around 2,000 films to watch and uh, select from, maybe even more, because we have submissions, we have uh, contacts with the sales agents internationally mm -hmm. who submit films to us or offer something. Mm -hmm. We go to festivals to watch the newest uh, things, um, to find the most interesting stuff. Who was your personal favorite? What movie was your personal favorite? I cannot say that because... Uh, Why not? <laughs> Because it's difficult, because uh, there are a lot of diverse films. We had 12 films in the feature competition, I mean the main international competition, plus two other sections for student films and first professional short films mm -hmm. uh, that had uh, around 15, 17 uh, in each category. Um, because it's difficult to choose a favorite, uh, you... It's well, not much favorite, easier but to maybe there was a picture that struck you the most because of the plot. There were a lot of films that struck me a lot um, <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, when we have some people, I, I hate this the most, when some people ask me, recommend one film that I have to see, that it's a must. Because, um, because it's ridiculous to choose one film from 200. We don't sh collect them just mm -hmm. to show as many as we can. We program each one, we select and we discuss each one. Um, so we believe that each one of these films is interesting and worth showing, worth uh, seeing for our audience. So it's difficult uh, really to choose any favorites. Okay, uh, well, uh, all right, moving on. Uh, uh, this year, or Let's just say during this festival you've had special categories in which films were presented and one of them were the pictures uh, that represent the struggles of the LGBT community. Now, was that at first? Not no. far from that. Uh, okay. We have a program called Sunny Bani, which is uh, the LGBT mm -hmm. competition, but there is also the non-competition part of it. So mm. we have fiction features uh, in the competition. We had nine of them this year. Before it was more, sometimes less, but we had also quite a few in the non-competition section. Mm -hmm. um, this is a parallel competition and it was founded in 2001, so it's really oh, so old. It's uh, it grown, was... <laughs> not old, grown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not old, yes. It's quite young. Um, it was um, actually the second um, award uh, and uh, section for LGBT-themed films mm -hmm. at uh, major international film festivals. So it was Berlinale that had Teddy. They founded it in 1987. Mm -hmm. And uh, Molodist was the second after that. Well, at that's uh, non-specialized film festivals. Because there are, of course, uh, specialized LGBT film festivals yeah, around the world. There are lots of them. But uh, yes, among these... Okay, you've had a lot of um, directors and, well, just uh, recognizable figures from the world of uh, cinematography coming from abroad and visiting this festival or uh, just being a part of a jury. What kind of a feedback did you get from them? Um, they actually admired the festival and the city a lot because mm. it was perfect weather, so they could have... Um, a stroll or go mm -hmm, around the city, mm -hmm. go to different places, mm -hmm. but also have uh, 
attend screenings at the festival and they had a very warm welcome. Our audience is always very welcoming, which is something to be proud of, uh, I believe. Uh, I agree. And um, some of them, like for instance, Denis Coté, the mm -hmm. Canadian, the mm -hmm. Quebecois director, he's quite famous, I would say. He's our friend, he's been at our festival quite a few times. He was head of our jury in uh, 2016. This year he came to present uh, A Skin So Soft, his new doc documentary. He said it was uh, after the screening we always have a and a if there is a representative of the film, an actor or a director, a script writer, others. Mm -hmm. He said it was the best Q&A he ever had, for instance. Oh. Even though not that many people stayed, but they were very interested. They asked really good questions. And so, yeah. Um, so that's a positive feedback. Definitely, yes. Okay, so next year, what are the dates for holding the uh, Moldist Folk Festival? As far as I remember, it's 25th of uh, May, mm -hmm. 2nd of June, 2019. Okay. All right, so we all need to get ready now. <laughs> yes. Start getting ready. <laughs> we are already getting ready, starting preparations, finishing with this one, because uh -huh. there's, of course, some things to take care Clearly. of, but also getting ready for the new one considering all our um, advantages, disadvantages, mm -hmm. faults, or the things we did well, you know, and to make even a better Molodist, which all will right, be well, 48th. 48th, okay, so we'll all be looking forward to the 48th Molodist International Film Festival in Kyiv here. Thank you so much for coming and sharing this with us. Thank you. That was Bogdan Zhuk, he's a program coordinator at the Molodist Film Festival. Thank you so much for watching, stay tuned with UATV.